I'd like to again, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of Peace Force International, we'd like to welcome you to the Predator Arena here in the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas for the very first CSI Invitational Ken Ball Championship. This exclusive competition features 16 of the greatest players in the world to compete in a round-robin format for the right to call themselves the inaugural CSI Invitational Ken Ball Champions. Our players have been divided into four groups. Groups of four have been chosen from North America, from Europe, from Asia, and from the Philippines. They'll be playing a round-robin format over the first two and a half days. The winner of each of the four groups will then proceed to a single elimination semifinal and final tomorrow afternoon. Before I introduce our competitors once again, I'd like to take a moment and express our gratitude to CSI, Peace Force International, our hosts here, the Rio Hotel, Predator Q, the official Q of the CSI Invitational, Cyclops Billiard Balls, Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Cloth, Billiard's Digest, the Magic Ball Racks, Sweet and Fiber Company, and Master Shop for all their great support, and also a special thank you to each and every one of you for your loyalty to Professional Pool and to CSI events. Thank you all very, very much. Okay, this is our other match in Group C, and at this time it's my pleasure to introduce our players to you. Our first player is from Toronto, Canada. Among this gentleman's accomplishments include a U.S. Bar Table 8-Ball Championship, a Derby City Bank Pool Championship, and he is a seven-time Canadian National Champion. Sponsored by Kings of Vapor, Volturi Cases, and Falcon Hughes, please welcome Mr. John Morrow. Thank you very much. His opponent, Los Angeles City in the Republic of the Philippines. Among this gentleman's legendary accomplishments include a World Nine Ball title, three World Eight Ball titles, two World Cup of Pool Championships, and the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Not only is he a member of the Billiard Congress of America's Hall of Fame, but we believe he has single-handedly revolutionized the game as we know it in the past 25 years, and it's truly an honor to still be able to watch this man play. He's sponsored by Puyat Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, the most famous name in the game, it's the magician, it's Efren Reyes. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, please go to the break. Race to nine, alternate break, referee Gibby to catch. Good luck, everybody. Every time Efren lags, he freezes a cue ball on the rail. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What speed control? Oh, my gosh. That's twice. He lagged yesterday and froze the ball on the rail. Mora was like a half inch off, and Efren just put it on ice. It was frozen. I want to see the magician play good today. He Yesterday, he missed a couple of balls, but he also made two of the prettiest shots I've maybe ever seen using that inside English going around the table, yeah. three rails to get between these balls. So... You're in for a treat, because I guarantee you this match, he's going to do something that you've never seen. And he's going to do it till the end of it. He'll be doing stuff that most players are like, where did that come from? You know, it's ridiculous how good he, some of the stuff he comes up with is, well, that's his nickname, The Magician. If you look on these different websites of all the greatest pool shots in the last 20 years, it's 90% of them he shot, because he's done some stuff, they're like, where did that come from? So... I'm just excited. I'm glad I'm friends with him. He's a great guy. And, buddy, he can play. Don't worry about it. All right, let's see if the magician can get himself off to a good start here with a ball on the break and a, and a shot at the lowest ball. ball. Three ball, three ball. No, but nothing to look at for John on the one ball. And how do you like pushing out and having to have the magician have the choice, huh? He may consider a back kick here on the one, try to send the one ball down here and maybe stay behind the nine. 
I don't think he's going to get the best of a push out no matter what he does. But I'm not sure he can hold that cue ball behind the nine. But that's the shot. He's called the one in the side. That's a kind of a just in case it goes in. But he's really trying to get the one up here on the short rail. <clears throat> and maybe have the five be the interfering ball. See if the cue ball backs up a little here after contact. It did. <clears throat> and that is really nicely done by John. I think a lot of people have <coughs> a tendency when they see John to not really appreciate how great of a young player he is because he's not flashy. He's very quiet and reserved. Um, he has a soft demeanor, not only personally, but around the table. And he has a beautifully executed smooth stroke. One thing that I do want you to pay attention to, and we'll talk about it again maybe when John gets back to the table, um, let me wait a second on the rest of that thought here while Bata kicks at the one ball. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, this is going to be probably a game for John. I would assume the 10 will go. Sometimes both balls wedged in there and neither will go. That's what he's looking at. He couldn't play the three and the 10 might stay. But this is pretty interesting. Uh, Cotton, take a quick look at that 310 that's wedged in there. I have a great question. And I think I know the answer, but maybe I'm wrong. What do you do if the two balls, I've seen it happen playing. They're suspended? They're just hung. You it, know they but they're in, there in the air, they're off the slate? They're hanging halfway off the slate and they're wedged in the, wedged in the corner. Right, but they're not actually touching the slate? No they're, no, they're touching the slate, it's like a half, the, a third of the slate. As long as they're still on the bed of the table, they, they no, remain in position. I've, but I've seen them where they won't go. Oh, they won't go. That Well, that's what I'm saying to you about this you know 310. What, you know what the rule used to be? I think you pick up the one ball that's closest. You pick up one of the balls, and if the other ball falls, then it's a legal shot. Yeah, that's no longer the rule. It's not. <clears throat> no. I've, I've seen, I was playing the guy the only, the, the, There is a provision, that's why I asked you in your example, were they suspended? Sometimes the balls will actually wedge and be off the slate. Right. Then what you do is, according to the rules, is the referee is supposed to project with his eye downward and, and judge whether the ball would actually go into the pocket if it was not suspended. Which one? Whichever one. And e which either one of them would have gone into the pocket if it, it was not suspended, then goes into the pocket. It's extremely rare. In uh, my entire referee career, I've never had it come up where they were wedged in the air, but I know it can happen. I was playing the guy one pocket six months ago, and the ball the balls got wedged in there, and I, I shoot, I hit the ball hard, and the cue ball just bounced off. Yeah. Uh, nothing would go. You know, if you're playing on three and seven H in pockets, that's probably likely. But, you know, with the standards four and a halfs we play on today, well, that's, a nice that's, idea. Uh, Look at that's pretty team. unlikely. And again, great judgment by John to not, not go for the 110 there because he was afraid that neither ball it would go. Yeah. Right, right. <coughs> Let me just get back to what I was saying earlier just before you came back in, Bobby. Uh, depending on the... Um, Uh, nine six for uh, John Ling Cheng, beat Darren nine six. Uh, nine three for Dennis. Yeah. You can't see it here, but the next time we get a frontal shot of John, I want you to notice how significantly far to the left his cue stick is. His his uh, cue is under his left eye. It's not even close to the center of his body or his chin. Really? It's way, way off to the left. You can look at it here. See how this cue is under his left eye? That's kind of different. And yeah. I've asked him about it a lot. And uh, anyway, first game to John as a result of Efren's uh, bad kick following an excellent opening safety kick by John. And we'll be able to see it maybe even on the break shot. But I asked John, um, I asked him about it, you know, many times over the years. 
And my, of course, my first question to him was, are you left eye dominant? Mm. And he said, no. I said, are you a natural left-handed that just plays right-handed? He said, no. Hmm. So I'll tell you what he did tell me, though, as soon as he finishes flipping the cards. One more. One more. He said when he first started playing pool and first learned, he was right under his chin, dead center. Mm -hmm. And in the very early stages of his career, as he started to improve, it just kept working its way over to the no. left <coughs> where he became a better and better and better player. That's really and weird. it was not a conscious um, thing that he did. It just evolved that way as his game evolved and now it's just how he plays. What and if it just keeps get going and he'll be having the cue under his ear? <laughs> <laughs> Behind the back. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's, uh, it's, it's been stabilized now for, for a number of years, but it's, it's, it's very interesting for uh, a player, especially a high caliber player like John, um, to not be pretty close to right under his, uh, right under his yeah. chin. Earl's got a funny look like that too. I don't know what he does. He's got, he's all sideways looking. Well, I hope Efren plays good this match. I tell you, this is tiresome, these tournaments like this. You know, walk, you're doing a lot of walking and a lot of playing, a lot of concentration. And I'll tell you, I forgot even to get up here and think about competing at his at 60 is tough. I mean, it's amazing. And he's subject to win this thing. <laughs> That's the craziest part. He's subject to win this. Because every time somebody counts him out and says, I don't know, he's too old in some big, huge money tournament, he wins it. So. You can never count him out. It's it's just mind boggling. He's done it for s several years. I mean, you know, uh, Efren's too old, and all of a sudden he wins a tournament. John's got a push here. He might just possibly push and just hit the two maybe and leave himself a kick shot. He's thinking about maybe thinning this one and going two rails, but this can get this can get kind of funny here. But he might do it anyway. He's gonna try to thin the one and go back down there and miss the eight. And put the cue ball down there, but he's got to I don't miss the I don't eight. know if he can get through the gap. I think so, well, but I don't like it. I like I his wouldn't, kicking. I wouldn't risk going through that gap. No. I think he should just shoot and hit the two and just leave a yeah. kick. If, if he can get through the gap, he can't get the one thin enough. No, you're right. You're right. Your ten's in the way, so I right. could. He I might get through. Well, it looks like you see. Now, see the left eye? See where the cue is, yeah, Bobby? Yeah, I see. That's kind of, well, that's really strange. Well, that's excellent speed control. Mm -hmm. Excellent well, speed control. Well, he was close enough, you know, to where he didn't have, you know, but that was on the, he hit the ball perfect. Yeah, he used the thickness of the hit to slow yeah. the cue ball yeah, down. Yeah, he hit it perfect. No good effort. <laughs> He's a trip. A funny little quick story. Last year I was playing, not last year, five years ago I was playing poker at the Riviera. Efren's in the tournament. He's playing the poker game with us, and he was acting all crazy. And so he goes up and uses the restroom, and this one smart little guy says, who's that goofy guy? I says, well, that goofy guy is probably the greatest pool player of all times. I said, so watch what you say, knucklehead. Yeah, he said, who's this goofy guy? I said, this goofy guy is the greatest pool player around. Okay, this Ever. is, excuse me, uh, Bobby, this he is. He played uh, that ball, didn't he? He must have because yeah, he's at the beautiful. table. How good did he hit that kick? 
Well, I actually think the calling of the ball was more of the, you know, uh, I'll just protect myself just in case. I don't think he realistically expected it to go in the way it did, kissing off another ball. We almost missed that. And he's, he's, that's got to either bump the six or stop in a hurry. You know, that was a very difficult shot, jacked up using that inside yeah. spin like that. Because yeah. that ball could take off 100 miles an hour. And he hit, he hit ball first, too. I know. That's why it almost didn't go. That shot is... Right. Let's see if he stays down on this one. Stay he down. Will, Stay he down. He did. And he he, that's he why will. he made it. But those are the shots that had, he's had that tendency to come up on when he's close to the object ball like that. Uh, that or long shots. If he can avoid having to shoot six and seven foot long straight shots, I think, right I think he's a threat. You know, because oh, no that's that's the only kind of Achilles heel that, that uh -huh. he's been suffering from the past couple of years. But when it comes to just moving the cue ball around in small spaces and short shots and precise position, he's still the magician. He got a little too straight in here. Yeah. Now, see, this is, this is not something he likes. He doesn't like to pound the ball into the rail. He'd rather come forward here with inside. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe no English at all here, but I think he might have to come forward or he's got to draw it back two feet and take the cut on the eight. He's hitting some. And also stretching out, it makes the draw shot a little yeah, tougher, especially it. with the Cyclop cue ball. Remember, that thing that take, takes a little bit more to draw this ball. I like forward here with no English. I think he's loading up with English. See, he put no spin on it, and it, short, it came short. And I think the reason it came short is he ran out of stroke because he was, he was stretched out. You know, he couldn't get the, the, the length of follow through that he wanted. What do you, what, what do I you like? I, I like banking it and staying right there. You know, he might, he might duck. I Put the eight behind the nine, the cue ball behind the nine. No, he's no. playing the eight. You got to shoot this right. ball. Right. It's either stick there or go three rails. I think he's he got to cut it a little bit. He may draw two rails. Yeah, two rail oh draw. Boy, F one, F one, F one. He might get away with it. Now, John Mora is a Derby City Bank Pool champion, and he is a tremendous banker in his own right, whether he won the Derby or he didn't. It wouldn't surprise me to see him bank this. His only other really uh, option is thin it on the left and come up here mm -hmm. behind the 9-10. Just feather the ball. He could bank it to his left and come up behind the 9, kind of a two-way shot. He's going to bank it to his left, but I'll tell you, this ain't no hanger. This is, this is well, he hasn't called it. He's ducking. He's ducking. Yeah, he's going to thin it on the left side. Now, well, that's how you do it. Yeah. That's not. Right. Now, it's almost as good as if he, he left him safe. This is a very long, difficult shot. He's on the rail. If he I shoots it in either hole, he's, he's going to scratch in either pocket. <laughs> Well, I can't think shoot I, the ball. Uh, yeah, it's it certainly, it certainly looks like a scratch on both, both ways. Sides, yeah, both it sure does. But he's, he's called shoot. it. He's yeah. shooting it to the right. Well, yeah. this, this Unless he's playing to overcut it and have it go to the short rail to avoid the scratch. I don't like this. Is re no, no, it's no, not. No, that's going to sell out. He couldn't possibly have been actually playing that ball. He's playing safe know. all the way. Yeah, that was, yeah, he hit that ball just really, really. Yeah. I tell you, John, John is a formidable opponent know that anybody is happy to see his name next to theirs in the draw. You think really? Huh? Oh yeah, he's he he's he's highly respected and highly regarded. I mean, he's he's not in the upper upper echelon yet, but he's knocking on the door. But what I'm so impressed with with John over the years and I've seen him play since he was a a, a teenager um, is just how consistent he is shot to shot how smooth his delivery is, and how fundamentally sound he is. Nothing fancy, nothing flashy, uh -huh. but he has superb knowledge 
of the, of, of the physics of the game, tremendous cue ball control, and the other thing that I think is, um, is well known about him too is he's a very, um, he's got a, a very high pool intellect. In other words, he seems to mostly always make the right decision, pick the right shot, um, play the game in a way that gives him the best chance to win. And he is the consummate gentleman. I mean, he's he's yeah, like a nice. young Ralph Souquet as far as a gentleman, quiet, unassuming, reserved. I mean, yeah, he can yuck it up and have fun, you know, with with everybody. I mean, he's you know mid twenties, young man. But um, his father is uh, Mario Mora, who uh, is a excellent player in his own right, and. Really? Still, yeah, and still competes uh, at a at a pretty decent level. Never so he had uh, well, they're from Toronto, and I'm oh not sure yeah. you know that many you no. know north of the border players. And but um, he got great great schooling from his dad, not only uh, in pool but uh, as a person. He's that's just is that he's up above Seattle? No, that's not. No, it's uh, <laughs> it's 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 in the eastern part of Canada. It's uh, oh, okay, I got you. It's a uh, it's I've never been up there. It's actually uh, like north of Buffalo, New oh, York. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I got it's you. It's like uh, an hour's drive from Buffalo. Kind of like a cow for Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, Louisville. <laughs> well, look where Efren's breaking from now, Bobby. Yeah, he just, I don't know. He's trying to make something happen. And he did. Made, the, made that. He did. Second ball. Yeah. If the two stops, he's going to have a nice look at the one in the side. I don't. Does it go by the five? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But the cue ball is headed at the 10. And if he can either hit the 10 or avoid it, then he's got the two in the same side as the one. And the three sitting right there. I don't so. think it's going to. I think he's going to just. He won't go past the 10, I, I don't believe. Oh, the magic rack will help slow it down a little yeah. too. <laughs> okay, well they're all they're all there for the taking. The eight to the nine is going to be the only real work here. Where do you like playing the five? Down here. Yeah, me Low too. Right. Me too. I don't know what he's going to do here. He might. Over and back. Or three rails and play it in the same pocket. That's what I was thinking. That's, that's too much way short. He's going to have to bank it. He, he favors a three rail shot, you know, most of the time anyway. But He's just not getting out. That's He should have got out last rack and missed, you know, and got out of line. And he's just well, not getting this out. He's just not getting out. He's slicing it. Stay down. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hurry, 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 hurry. That's good. Well, if he goes forward and bumps the 10, the 10 could get in the way. I like drawing to the short side of the 8. And that's got to come off the rail. So he can get to the bottom of the cue ball. Well, he's he's going to have to he's jack just struggling. up. He's just struggling yeah. getting out. All right. Now here you can't try to do too much, you know. And this is tr this is makes it hard making sure. these balls doing this. You know what I mean? Oh, that was nice. Now here's what he got to do. He got to stay down. Yeah. Well, you don't need to bring the cue ball out more than no. a foot. Yeah. If even if that far. Yeah. yeah. Just, just make, make the ball. Okay. <laughs> Now stay down. See if his head stays still. It did. Good, good job, Bada. <laughs> he needed that one. Yeah, you he needed that him. one. And and you know everybody's rooting for the guy. It, and not it's not that people are rooting against John, but this is the most lovable man in the sport. <laughs> yeah. It is, yep.
And that side rail brake worked well for him, that rack. Uh, be curious to see if he stays with it. I think he yeah, will. Yeah, that, that, that second ball went straight in. Yeah, and he wound up with a, with a shot. There weren't any clusters. The only thing he did was, you know, he got out of line on the five, and he cut the paint off of that five ball. Meanwhile, on the outer table, Ralph Suquet, three, and Young Ko uh, is yet to score. He's at the table. I'll take Ralph over there. Good, good, good call. <laughs> Every time I pick a player, you say that. Well, that's because you usually wait till they've got a three or four game lead before you pick them. <laughs> how can you, I, how can I argue with that? You're catching on, my uh -huh. man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take John Mora here, even though I, I really shouldn't. It's, it's against my religion. I can't bet against Efren. I can't even root against him. He's got a good solid break too, John does. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah, he I mean it's makeable. He won't he doesn't he's not gonna scratch no. if he cuts it, but uh, can I can he make it? I can't see from here. It's yeah. hard to we'll have to wait to see what he yeah, does. Okay, thanks Tim for that. Uh, yeah, it get, looks uh, it, I think he can I think I think, I think he, he can make it. Make it. Yeah. But the best you can do with the cue ball is just come straight across and yeah. maybe go between the four and the nine to shoot the two. You know, this is just pocket the ball. Well, you know, if if, if I was going to shoot this ball, I'd use low right and try to get down there behind the if, pass the nine. If he's got enough cushion between the one ball and the side. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I think yeah, he it looks does. Like, that looks like what he's doing, yeah. yeah. yeah I'd try, to, I'd try yeah. to spin back down there if I was going to sure. shoot it. Sure, yeah, as long as he won't scratch. Sweet oh, did he man, hit he that hit ball. That. Yeah. No, oh oh boy. Well it he banks. Yeah, he, he might he might bank well, it. Yeah, he's certainly not afraid to bank a ball. And I'm not sure he's got enough angle here to come at the eight three with the cue ball. And even if he does who knows where I like banking. With the, the four three. there, I'm with you. And and if you get straight in on the bank on the three, you're Shoot, right there. Stop, you're right yeah. there. Yeah, I think that's what he's gonna do. Yeah, with the four sitting there, it, this is pretty you know, automatic what he's going to do. Well, if he can get straight in on the bank, it's connect the dots pretty much from there. See, he never seems to be in a hurry, no matter how difficult or simple the situation is. I just really like to watch this man play. Got a great follow through, stays down through the ball. Look at the extension of that cue and see, he, see how he stayed down. I know he messed it up a little bit. He might no, probably gonna play the eight ball, yeah. But but he stays down and through the shot yes, longer does. than most players do. You, yeah, know, you're, you're, you know, they, when they teach you, they say you stay down with your follow through till everything stops rolling. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a little bit extreme sometimes, of course, because you got to get out of the way eventually, but I think that's what makes him shoot so pure. Like I said, he's got knowledge well beyond his years. He knows where the balls are going. He knows how they're going to react. I like the way he plays. He's steady. Yeah. So steady as a rock. I Absolutely like it. Bobby. I like it. I do like yeah, it. He's one of my favorite players. I haven't seen him play much. Well, I, I, I kind of knew you'd be impressed with him once you saw him play. That's yeah, he's looking, he's steady. I like his, yeah. you know, the way he moves around. He's, he's slow. He takes his time. I like it. Right. And he People usually watching should he copy this dude. He usually leaves himself, you know, easy shots. You know, he makes the game play a lot easier than it really does play. Mm hmm A little 
short these are, there. These are the kind of guys I like to bet my money on. They're not going to rush no shots, you know. Mm -hmm. And these real fast players running around the place. I, I can't stand them. Yeah. You know, it's fun to watch, but if I'm going to bet my cash, I'm betting on a guy like this. Yeah. You know. Well, John's John's played, you know, a few money games in his life too, but uh, he's he's pretty well focused now on tournament play. And um, <coughs> I think the the, the which I don't know. There's a different opinion on the gambling thing with the pros, and some people think they should, and some people think they shouldn't. You know, I'm one of those that think they shouldn't. I mean, I understand that I grew up with it too. I gambled when I was first starting to play pool and all of that. But um. I'll tell you one thing: if you if you don't gamble, there's one thing that my, my that's a fact is I think if you don't gamble that you'll always have a better attitude. Right. Because, listen, you, you can't be a nice guy and gamble. No. You're going to no. be a jerk off. You're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to get, you're going to have an attitude. You know, it's just, it's just part of the deal, you know. Mm -hmm. So, well, here's a perfect example, I'll tell you. And, and that's not everybody, of course. There's a lot of people that gamble. They're real nice guys, and I know them all. But, you know, for example, you take, like, Darren. Not Darren. Ralph, both of them, they don't gamble. And they're two of the nicest uh, pool players in, in the world. And they, and they always have a nice attitude. They don't want to play. Mm -hmm. Or you hear them playing. Mm -hmm. The sad part is a lot of these guys that do gamble, the ones that do, they're gambling because, you know, they're just trying to survive, you know. In my opinion, gambling is easier, easier, you know. Because you can always get more, you know, get a, more money, raise the bet, da, 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 play for 30 hours. And this, this here, this is, you don't got the night, you got to, you got to come with them shots now. You know, there ain't no getting behind and raising the bet. You gotta, you gotta perform right now on the spot. So I think it's way tougher. Nothing. Nine ball. Nine ball. And they got, he don't have a shot to one, but he scattered them good. He, you know, he opened. He, he sounded good when he hit him. Did he break from the side again? Yeah, I didn't even look. Place, yeah, same okay. Place, yeah. Can he hit it? I don't think so. Nope. Not, once again, I don't know where to push. This push is too, too much I'm brain right. power for me. I don't know. Maybe at the six ball? Uh, God, I mean, where do you push from here? I push towards the six ball. That's where he went. He's not going to get this back. I don't like this push. I don't like this. This combination is. I don't like where the one's going on the combination. I think it can get tied up yeah. over here on the right, and the cue ball's going the other way. I think if anything, John, maybe can he cross the one and get behind the ten with the cue ball? I don't think so. Uh, or maybe going just behind, behind the, the five. five. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just behind, behind the, five. the five. Yeah. Or hit it hard, you go all the way back down between that alley. I don't like this. This is this is what I like. But he didn't get there. No. But he played the right shot. Now I like banking the one back over toward the five and putting the cue ball behind the four and seven. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it. He got, I've got, he's got 80 balls to block. He's got the four, the seven, the eight, the five. Yeah, he'd have to be pretty unlucky to leave an alley. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's got all them balls. But I think he's going towards the six ball with the cue ball if he does that. That's why I think he chose to go this way. This way he knows he can put the cue ball on the cushion too. Yeah. John's it John's got a yeah, he's got a good. he's got to kick one rail probably to the left as we're looking. He if he does he might call it in the upper right cuz he could knock it in off the 6. Yep, yeah, he did call it because he knows if he's got get it gets it going anywhere near the 6 ball, he's got a chance to for it to go in. 
But this is the toughest kick in the game here, Bobby, is uh, when the one exactly. you had a single ball out in the middle of nowhere. Right. You've only got the uh, two and a quarter inches to hit. Oh yeah, this I, I think you'll hit it, but it's. Oh, I it's think a, you'll hit it too. It's a tough hit. But to hit it to hit it on the nose is is yeah. is much harder than just hitting it. And it's going to lengthen out just a bit too, depending on the speed. Medium speed. Oh, good. If it caught the 10, he was going to hook him. All right. Is he going to play the 110? I think he's going to play the 10 ball because it's a two-way shot. <coughs> uh, Bring the cue ball back near the 6, although the 1's going to come over near the pocket. But, um, He'd like to have the one ball closer to us. Yeah, a bit, a bit. yeah. It's you know it's a I mean? he's got to cut a ball to cut a ball. Yeah, he's right. Gotta, it's yeah, not it's not it's not easy. But and he has to hit this ball pretty fat too, yeah. which makes it harder. Now he know. could he could just bank the one and follow the cue ball behind the ten. And put the one down there by the, by the yeah. seven. Nah, now he's he, shooting at it. He didn't call. He it. didn't call it. Maybe he's just shooting the one. Maybe he's just yeah. Yeah, it was 100% safe. No, he didn't hit that like he wanted. Well, he wanted to hook him. He wanted the one to go a little further, uh -huh. but, uh, you know, I think it was a smart shot. Yeah, shooting the 110 combination was no yeah, good Yeah, that, that was no good. You're right. He's just going to bank this straight back with inside. The cue ball's going to die yeah, behind the five. just got to watch the double kiss here. Right. He's hitting this ball with, like, a lot of inside, and there you go. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's like a one pocket shot, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, John's played some one pocket, too. So Does he play one yeah, he plays one pocket. He plays all games. Oh, yeah. All these guys, they say they don't play one pocket, but they, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's only like eight moves that you got to know to play a one pocket. They ain't like, it's not like chess. Well, I think he got away with it because it won't go. He's going he's to be safe again. He's going to lock him up behind the eight. Or the five. I like, I like the eight because you can snug it in there. Yeah. Just watch the one don't hit the ten. See, that's what I was afraid of. If he, he, he let the one hit the ten and glance over there because he let up just a little bit on his stroke. But he he should. Yeah, but he ran into the eight. You know what I mean? He well, right. He shouldn't have. Well, because that's because he let up on his stroke. Yep. Nice shot. Get away from there. Oh, boy. He's got to play it in the corner, doesn't he? Uh... I mean, yes. to make it in the side, he's got to hit it 100 miles an hour. Yeah, I don't. Play it in the corner, you're going to have a cut, you know, on the three. The best he can do is get get he near the 5-8. Get here and spin out of either that or, or, or left and try to come around, but uh, there's a lot of traffic. I like your shot. I like inside, I like high inside and straight, like straight over between the 7 and the 8. Yeah. He's looking at the side. Hit it. Yeah. He's got to hit it with like left English. And, it comes and he's got to overcut it and then go straight up and down. That's what he's doing. And come in between the five and ten. But that's he don't like it. He doesn't. Nah. You know, if the two ball was a quarter inch closer to us, yeah, it's going to play a lot easier. But I think it's already past halfway on the pocket. And the fact that the cue ball is going real quick here. This is like the third rack he's had a shot to get out, and he hasn't. Third rack, he's done this. Missed the two. He missed the two, and... This is the third rack he's had a shot with all the balls sitting like this yeah. and he got out of, and he's got out of line and missed the ball. Well, I mean, he doesn't he doesn't have the he doesn't have the speed feel yet. And look, let's face it. I mean, it's still Efren, but 
he doesn't play competitively that much anymore. Only comes over here once or maybe twice a year. He's not like, um, for lack of a better term, he's not uh, in tournament season hardness mode, playing tournaments all the time like yeah. he used to be. Now this is actually a little trickier than it looks. Not this shot, but the five ball is in a, is in a, a very unusual position. He's going to drop and hit the seven. Yeah, but what happens if he better be careful and not, not make, make the make five? It. Exactly. See, the five to the six is tough with that seven ball there. Yeah, I yeah. thought he might try to get to play the four into the five where the four would then hang. He's, doing, he's moving the seven, right? Oh, yeah, he's definitely moving the seven. Hope we don't, like I say, I hope we don't. Billy it off into the five. No, I guess I, I guess he's got enough of the ball to draw straight back, Bobby. Yeah. He, I guess he. It's a little deceiving from where we sit. He I guess he's got. Draw straight back yeah, like and he, and even if he draws back to the diamond past the side pocket where he's standing. The thing is, he'd like to be able to play the six and stay down there, not have to go up and down. Just straight draw here. Watch how he gets through this cue ball. See how, see the length oh, yeah, of that, that follow that through? That was That's, a bad hit. Yeah. That wasn't a bad hit, it was a bad result. I think he thought that the seven would slow the cue ball down a lot more. He just caught it too thin. And this is tough. He'll, he'll shoot it with outside English. Now he's just hitting this with center ball and just well, center, I'm afraid you got to watch out for the 10. That's just underneath his body. That's why I thought he might use just a hair or left. Yeah, he, he used the left Oops. English. Well, Efren finally got a break. Fourth but this is, eight, still, this, this, this is no still tough. This is still eight. tough because it's so deep. It's hard to go rail first here because it, yeah. it, anything can happen here. I actually like low left here, yeah, hit about hit half the ball. Hit, yeah, a hit, hit about half the ball and want to come too long versus too short. That's what he did. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. You know how hard that is to control from that beautiful. distance with it. that thing that deep in yeah. there? Yeah, it was a beautiful shot. That, no doubt. that was a pretty cool shot. Well, you know, 4 1 versus 3 2. Now the magician's right there. It's going to be John's break, but nevertheless, 4-1 and John breaking is a lot worse than 3-2. He just shot the eight, man, his head jerk, you see it? Yeah. All right, it's 3-2 here in favor of John Mora. And on the other table, it's 3-1 in favor of Ralph Souquet. And Ralph's at the table shooting the eight ball. Let you know who's coming up next here for you, everybody. We're going to have Kevin Chang, who you saw last night. He's the guy that recently won the White Diamonds bar box thing down there where they had the huge Calcutta in Louisiana. And he's going to play the Glasgow gunslinger, Jason Shaw, old eagle eye. If you haven't seen Jason Shaw play, you are in for a treat. <laughs> you are in for a treat. He's he's like the direct opposite of John Mora. He's he's almost a Lou Butera speed, but he's about six two, six three, two warm up strokes and fire, you know, kinda like Earl. Big power game, former two time English world eight ball champion on those miniature pockets with those miniature balls. So that'll, okay, be, that'll be a lot of fun to watch. When Irwin's in his prime, you could play him a race for a living. It might last 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I mean, he might put, like, a barrage on you that's like, what happened? what's going on? Mm -hmm. You know? The best match I ever got played against me, I was playing Mike Siegel at the Bicycle Club. He beat me 13-3, to three, and I'm telling you, he played so perfect, Ken. It was like ball in hand every shot, Mike. Mm-hmm. And he's <laughs> talking the whole time. <laughs> they took a timeout, Jim. They're on a timeout. Uh, uh, I'll go. You want a timeout? Yeah.
I got it. Okay, uh, the uh, Suke Ching, uh, Suke uh, co match uh, is on a timeout. It's four to one, Ralph. Five on the side, six in the corner, seven in the corner. No shot at the one. I like back kicking it, Bobby, and putting the cue ball under the eight or the three. Send the one down here. What do you think? You like that? Yeah. Kick him behind the one. Right? Yeah. And actually, you might get lucky and kick the one and go across the table behind the six and ten. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you could kick it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I'd just make sure I'm I'm playing mostly cue ball here right. on my yeah, kick. Yeah. Right. Well, if he can hit the ball, then, he he, then, he, the then, he, then he, and he will put the one down here and go behind the three. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, that was. No, he hit that ball really. He didn't hit it good, that's for sure. What he was trying to do. Well, he was trying to go behind the three. He just hit the, he hit the one ball too fat. Oh, yeah. I mean, it slowed the cue ball down, and, and it changed the direction of the one. And now Efren with a golden opportunity here. Again, Once again, another hanger, another but no, but it's not easy. To get on the deuce, how are you going to get there? It's tough. If the two goes in the left side, maybe just a little bit of high right here and come out a diamond. High left. He's just a high left, I'm sorry. You're yeah. correct, yeah. This uh -oh. no, you gotta like get this. It, yeah, as long as he gets away from the two ball. I like going toward the ball like that because with the right speed, however you hit it, you're going to get a shot. Well, you, you, you should. I mean, you he could have hit it on the nose, and he's straight in on it at the eight ball, and, you know, he's got to back cut it. But this, I think he's playing it in the side, mm -hmm. right? Just float down there. He's going to go into the long rail. Long here. rail, short rail, yeah. yeah. Come out. Come on, Efren. I want to see you play good, buddy. All right, then the next question is, does the seven go in either corner? It looks like it goes, it goes in the right corner. Past the ten? Yes, I believe so. Look. Okay. Looks like it does. Well, can't tell. If yeah, you know, it's a little to hard to side. tell. I, I, I think it goes, but you need you want to be close to it if you're going to shoot it in that pocket. Oh yeah. I don't think it goes in the other pocket. It, no. it goes up up table both corners if you get behind it, and the four is the ball before that. So <laughs> I think his problem here is getting on the four. Getting the, on the four the to get on to get way. on the seven right. The he's, he's, banking he's, the ban three. he's banking the three because it's the best way to get on the four. Now, he should make this, you know, 98 out of 100. And he did. Now he's got to go side rail and out back to where the four ball is, right? Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure the seven, the seven goes in this corner. That's got to move a little bit. Okay, he's there. Keep going, keep going. Right on the money. Beautiful, beautiful yeah, speed. Yeah, just barely enough. He's still got a stretch. That's why if it went one more revolution, he can reach it a lot easier. That's why you got to have that extension on the butt of your cue. You know how strong that is? Can you yeah. use him here? Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know what? He's the best opposite hand player in the planet, so this is not going to be any issue. Tell me about it. I bet against him one time with Keith. Oh, God. He Nobody never missed a ball that opposite hand. Yeah. I'm telling you, he never missed a ball. And you know, just just as a matter of observation too, usually when you see a guy shoot opposite handed, it's it's Funky a little looking. different looking than His normal. Same, same bridge, His and everything. same bridge, same warm up strokes. I know. It's, it's if you if he shot left handed and you watched it in a mirror, you you'd would, think he was playing know, the normal way. When he played Keith, he was playing opposite handed, and I said, and I told my buddy, I said, wait. Nice shot, Efren. Nice out. Tied it up three apiece with the magician.
score over there. We got on the other table, Ralph is ahead four to one. Playing the, the Taiwanese player. We got three to three here. <laughs> I wish everybody was here that's listening and that's watching on TV from across the country. Y'all would really like it. This is an amazing setup. Several thousand pool players here, hundreds of pool tables set up. So cool. You get to see people from all over the country that you haven't seen in years, you know. We'll see if Efren continues to break the balls from the side rail where he's been breaking. He's broke from good the last last two breaks. He's made them made the second ball on the straight in the side, which is good. And if Efren keeps breaking them good, he's right. He's let me see what happens here. but he's clawed his way back in the match, Bobby. Three apiece. Yeah. And Efren breaking in the odd games. I mean, let's hope that uh, maybe that'll help him out. <coughs> this is, looks like the key shot to this rack right here, although probably going to have to play. He missed, it. missed it. He did. Yeah. First, uh, first little chink in the armor there by young John. Going to be the five ball is going to have to go in the side, I think. I can That's tell what he's Ken, looking at now. Ken just went and had a cigarette. I can smell it from across the room. Sorry. <laughs> How long you been smoking? Actually, long actually, I had like three puffs. I couldn't smoke a cigarette in two minutes. I'm not going to answer that question. I smoked for 25 years. Well, then I've, 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 I've been smoking twice that long. Then I had a major heart attack. Five-way bypass oh. tumor on my lung. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm. Oof. He oh, jumped oh, up. Oh, yeah, yes, he, he jumped up, overcut it. That's why the cue ball went so far. Yep, and that was jacked up, but he's still all well, right. Well, he's okay. He, uh, like I said, he's uh, probably got to get on the five in the side. So he'd like to play the four in the same pocket with a one-rail angle. 
come he's across. Got, he's got a Oh, that's right. The five doesn't go down here. No, it doesn't. He was in the way. I it see might, him. but he's got to be right next to it. He's looking yeah. now. It, I think yeah, he, yeah, he should have looked at it a little while ago. But, uh, yeah, he's got to be right on it to get together. He's like half a pocket. He can roll it in there if he's close. You're right, Ken, but uh -huh. I think he's going to try to shoot the five. He might, the he, he might, maybe he'll draw it between the six, ten. Yeah. Straight draw. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, he's yeah for sure. He, oh yeah, look at this, right on the money. Oh boy, that's ball like in ball hand. hand. Yeah, position. ball in hand position right there. Well, both these matches are being played at a little bit of a deliberate pace, and it's not because anybody's playing slow. I think they're just making sure they take their time. The other match is 4-2 Ralph, and here it's 3-3. They've both just recently taken a timeout. And we're about an hour into play, so maybe a little bit uh, behind well, look, at that, look at that shot. Nice, boy. Nice control. Nice, nice speed. Everything. Hit the Just kill it right there. Yeah. Yep, yep. No need to travel the cue ball there with the eight sitting where it is. Straight up for the nine in the corner. I like. Then it's a stop shot. A little bit inside to hold it. Slow down. Slow down. That's good. He's all right. Maybe came I six inches. Know. He came six inches too far, but I don't think the side's a threat. Do uh, you? Yes, it is. You think it he's is? Gotta, he's okay. Draw the ball. And go three rails. Wow. He's going three rails, I believe. I can't tell. No, I don't I think so. Stop. <laughs> We're up here both living and dying on every ball this guy shoots. It's just <laughs> it's just we love him so much, you know. First time in the match, he leads four to three. Break is, I think it's John's break, isn't it? Yeah, he breaks into even numbered games. Solid eight inside. Nah, he turned the ball loose. He's lucky to have he's lucky there. Drew the ball back to yeah. the rail. This ball well, doesn't this bank. is this is extremely difficult. Yeah, it doesn't bank. The cut is really, really tough. If you use inside, you can scratch in the other corner. Yeah, and if you use outside, the ball plays tougher. Oh yeah. And the two probably needs to. Well, it can go in the upper corner because the four's got a sideboard for it. 
would you think about trying to three rail this out and force follow, keep the cue ball on the cushion? Exactly. You're yeah. just reading my mind. Uh -huh. I don't like trying to make the ball. I don't either. I think you're putting the whole game on it if you do. I think he's shooting at it. I don't like that shot. I don't know what he was thinking there. Well, he was thinking I of getting behind the tan. Yeah, the tan, that I mean, that uh, was he difficult at best. Yeah. I like three railing it out of there and keep yeah. the cue ball on the rail or even, even hitting the rail and coming down to the short rail. But he was in a tough spot, so I'll say, you know, it was a tough, tough spot. Effort. Spin Come out around. There, Get out there, baby. Boy, yeah. oh. that was a hell of a shot. And that was a tough thing. You bet it was. That was not a hanger, <laughs> you know. He had to cut the ball yeah. and draw. I mean, that was a tough bank. Now he looks like he's got to stun this to the short rail and back. And also, you Unless know, he could follow soft and play the three in the opposite corner. Just float it, you know, float past the nine. I like, I like playing the three near the four myself, if he, if he could. Yeah. And just to let everybody know about banking ball, ain't no bank a gimme. It can be dead across the side, and you can put a little bit too much spin on the ball, and you miss it, you know? There's no banks that are just like, hang, you know, hangers. Nice shot, Efren. Had like a half a pocket, it seemed like it was. got the speed down. Look at this perfect like ball in hand position. Well, you know, we've reached a point in the match where Efren's now made 20 or 30 balls. He's run a couple of racks. Um, admittedly, maybe he's still not, you know, at the top of his game, but I think he's got uh, a little bit more comfort now with the speed of the table. Oh, yeah. He still ain't no bargain. And no, but <laughs> but he's also compared to when we saw him yesterday, and he was jumping up like every third shot. Oh yeah, he's, he's only done that maybe once tonight. Yeah, or this afternoon. Okay, little bounce. Sometimes these are tough, you know. It looks you so simple. You read my mind, boy. I missed the ball like uh -huh. Torino one time, and I was like yeah. mortified. Had to cut it just yeah. a little bit like that. Yeah. I don't know if it scooted, but I shot it right into the rail. I was like, oh, yeah. no. I saw a shot like that missed twice in the Moscone Cup. And the cue ball was even a little further off the rail. But it's 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 a shot that looks like you could make it with your eyes closed. And, and, and you just you, you just you relax or whatever. Happens, right. Know. Believe me, I missed one just yeah. like that. I'm like, yeah. how did I miss one? Well, I hate to say it, but uh, I've missed those too. So that's yeah. why I know. <laughs> A little bit of a back cut like that, you know what I mean? Like yeah. It's, it's, it's just weird. It, it Sometimes you tend to almost look at it like it's straight in. Exactly. Or, or, or you fail you in. fail to put enough English on it. You'll think right. I just twist it in right. I mean, and not shoot it toward the center of the right. hole like you should. I'll put a little natural English, throw it in the hole, and all of a sudden you threw it right into the rail. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, we got Efren's got a 5-3 lead, and he's breaking. Yeah, which makes this a really, really big game for oh. both players. Oh, yeah. For both players, because if Efren can win this and stretch the 6-3, you know, he, he can smell the finish line. Yeah. And if John gets this rack and breaks and runs, then it's, it's right back to even. Nothing down, but once down. again, here's where his bad break kind of helped him because... The balls are tied up. John has no shot at the one. He's got to push. There's no kick here. Uh, Ain't the much two, of a push here. Yeah. How's that two six? It's hard to tell. It doesn't it look like, like it. it doesn't look like it goes. It looks like it's to the long rail just a little bit. Just a hair. Yeah. It could probably be thrown. I think yeah. they're close enough to be thrown. And you can hit it on this side. You know, right. Hit, hit the two on the side throws it toward the hole. It might go. 
but uh, we're, a lo we're a long way from there. I don't know where he's going to yeah, push here. Where, where do you and push? How do you push here without, without the guy returning with a better, with a safety? You can't push down there where you can if get the it. If the nine wasn't there, I would back kick it off the short rail. But with the nine there, you can't risk the foul. <clears throat> The question. protection, <coughs> excuse me, the protection John has is the 2-6, but he's got to get the one away from the 2-6 if he's going to push and, le and, and let Efren see the ball. I don't think he's going to let Efren see the ball. And if that's the case, he's probably going to get it back. Did he Did he leave himself the gap to go through? Yes, but I don't think Efren's, I, I don't think he's going to take this. There's a lot can go wrong here. I don't think he's going to take this. I don't think he's going to take this. If I had to bet, I'll bet a dollar he passes. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I'm hitting him good today, Ken. I, yeah. I'm so and proud. Just think how much money you'd have made if I took any of these bets. I'm so proud of myself today. Like I said, the, the day's not over, but, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're shooting a 1,000 so can, far. He can actually scratch here if he's this is tricky. Oh, he's playing safe, I, I think. Know, but, I know, yeah, but he could – That was about as good as he could do, which was really, that was as good as he could do. Yeah, that was just buying time. You know, that's just, I'll get another inning. But there's about a million safeties here. I don't know which one he's going to decide to do. He can come down here with and hide behind. If the there's room under the six, I, tuck, I, put him I would in, go there I and then separate the, the exactly, two six. Exactly. Yep. Tuck him under the covers here. Right. Yep. As long as the one doesn't run into anything. Just like that. Boy, he got a lot out of that shot. John may have the edge of it, but Efren did, got a lot done with that shot. He didn't leave his opponent anything that he can really do a lot with, and he opened up the 2 6. Yeah, he had, uh, that was a, the right shot, of course. Right. Now here, John's got to be careful of not having the cue ball run into the 10 and stay right there because depending on how firm he hits this, the one's probably not going to go very far. Would, F you, would, you, would you consider kicking into the rail first on this? Behind it on yeah, the right side? One either, like yeah, that? yeah, just so you, 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 you know, like a one pocket type kick where you, you want to send the, the one ball into the side cushion and back over and the cue ball down the table. It's tricky. A lot well, of it he, is. He can, he can hit that ball, you know, and it all kind of weird. It, yeah, but going straight at the ball. Chance. It's the only shot he's got, I think. Just try to make the ball? No, he's kicking. Yeah, I, I kind of like the kick. Yeah, he's kicking. Well, that's not going to pay the rent. But he got really lucky with the four and yeah, the he eight. Hit that. He, he was way off there. He, admit, he, he hit half the ball. Yeah. He had half the six. Hard to tell whether I mean that four is, is still makeable in the side because I of the, because goes. well, it's the eight ball. I think it's got more cover than the 10. If he shoots and stops, if he gets on the three in the, in the side and stops, I believe the four goes, right? Well, Shoot. if it does, then he's got to draw in to move the 10 away from the five or slide down because the five won't pass the nine. There's an awful lot of work to do here. He How about this, Bobby? Go get shape on the two, play the two, send the cue ball at the four ball cluster, three's your insurance ball. Mm. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't really like it. I mean, no, that's not gonna bounce enough to let him do it anyway. He, look, he might be, you know, again, we may not be able to see clearly enough that the four is not as difficult as it looks. I'm thinking he's just going to try to stop right where he's yeah, at. Yeah, if he, yeah, if, 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 and if and he, he can do that. And if he draws a ball, the eight's going to move and the cue ball's going to go into the ten. Right, know? and then if anything, it'll push the five into yeah. open space. Yeah. Right. If he hits the eight with the cue ball, the, eight, the cue ball's going to glance off the eight and uh, hit the ten ball. No, that's right where he wanted to be. I still think that's pretty close quarters there to make that four on the side from about where the three ball is. What he's looking at now is what's going to happen after he plays the four on the side. Where's the cue ball going? <coughs> Excuse me. 
might go, uh, you know, in between you know what the eight and from, don't you? Just to talking all day. No, that's not what it is. All right. Well, don't. I, I don't need any lectures. <laughs> Look at this. What's the side? Oh, oh that's. A, no. uh, oh, I mean, you couldn't shoot that ball on the side from there. I don't know what he was trying to do anyway. Was he trying to hit? I think he's ha had to be trying to go into something. I don't know Evan, why. Which tells yeah. me that the four couldn't Could, be made. Yeah, it couldn't go. They may not have a pocket right now either. I guess the four can't go. Well, it goes in the corner. I don't think he can hit. I don't think it goes in the corner, does it? No, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't have a pocket. I know what I would do. I'd just thin the, put the cue ball on the other side, thin the four, and leave the four behind the ten and all that mess. Come down here. You know what I'm saying, Ken? What do you think? I don't know. I'm more mesmerized by where he's just placed this cue ball. He evidently he's got a gap there to play the four in the side from there. Yeah. I think that's where Efren was trying to get. On what, the what? And just stay there or, or nudge him open? When he. I think he was trying to split those balls. When Efren shot that three, I think he was trying to go into that gap and hit them balls. Well, he, know, yeah, he gently. had. He, yeah, but. I mean, he missed by six inches. Yeah. So, if either the 10 or the 8 move, it's a foul. And neither of them moved, and it's good. Yeah, but look at this. Yeah. Where was he trying to go? Play the carom. That's I what he was trying to do. Yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, he made it off the eight. I think he was actually playing it that way. That's a nice shot. It sure was. Okay. However, he hit it, he was jacked up too. Well, he's he got one back on Efren's break. So now he's gonna have an opportunity to tie things up again. happening on the other match over there. It's 6-2 in favor of Ralph and they're waiting for the referee to go to rack, rack the balls. Up, yes. for John. Well, so far things are going pretty good for Efren in this match. You know, John hasn't got an open shot on the one last few last few breaks. Yeah, you know, I mean, John had that quick 2 nothing lead and then the third game, it almost looked like he was going to get another one, but Efren managed to scrape back, tied it at three. Took a 5-3 lead. 
And then he had that horrendous two rail scratch in the side, that last rack, trying to break up the four ball and the little cluster there. Which now wound up giving. You push? I, I don't know. I guess you got to push. <laughs> I guess you got to go near the four ball, but I, I don't like what I'd get after that. How about tying something up? How about bump, bump the two into the eight and go down table a little bit where the one will bank? Or, uh, or or hit the six uh, up where blocks the three ball from going. Yeah. Uh, that and stop right there and take your kick. You got you got to tie something up here. He's, he's, you got, ki he's kicking at the one. Is he? Uh, is that or he's moving the three. Maybe he is kicking the one. I, I, I don't know what the advantage is to this. No, he just that's not going to get far enough. He, maybe he just wanted to put the cue ball on the rail. I thought he might put the three on the side rail there. But that would have left Efren a, a straight in shot All on the one. All he got to do is just, you know, roll this one in with a little bit of top left. The two ball straight in the side, but this is a tough shot. Oh, yeah, because you can't hit this f that firmly. But you know, if you hit this ball real smooth, it goes. You yeah. just roll it a little bit. Yeah, but you don't want to come more than halfway across the table. Well, he shouldn't come like this, maybe like a foot, right? Just like that. Oh, he missed it. He raised up just a little bit on that one. That, that was not an easy shot. No, it wasn't. Not at all. I thought he was just going to roll it. Right. Anytime you're nine feet away like that is tough. I don't care him for anybody. Uh oh. Hey, what happened here? He hit it bad. He shot I it guess. to the rail. Well, well, this this is no a hanger. yeah, you know. Well, this is a nice natural position shot. Both short rails and bounce off, right? Uh -huh, right. You don't want to lag it down there. You want to hit the short rail where you just Back put the forth, piece of yep, chalk, up right? And down, yep. Yep. Looks like just a high ball, maybe a, a quarter tip a left to check it. He could also go two rails the other way. I think, I think it's going to use inside. Yeah, yeah, a little bit inside. No, he did go two rails the other way because the speed laid better. That's got to stop or hit it full in the face hard. Come on, look at this. Did he get no, it? He's, he didn't get it. Boy, and he hit that ball really good, He too. sure did. Well, that's just bad luck, I'm telling you. He yeah. hit that ball good. He Wouldn't just one time in your life you'd like to see Efren just come with an F-bomb or something after something like this yeah, happens? Or hit you a know. shaft from the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. throw a piece of chalk something. or something, you know. But he'll never do that. He's going to run assay it right in the side. He only does that about anybody alive. Oh, right. right. He does that playing one pocket, getting out of okay. traps. Now, can he draw and miss the eight? Yes. Okay. I believe so. All right. He may miss like a half, like maybe an inch. Okay. But he can get there. But it's close. It's close. But he has no choice. He can't go forward. He can't go forward, so he's just going to try to snatch it back. Yeah, but he's... Better hope he don't scratch in the corner. He's got to get at least to the middle diamond. No, he's, don't be too straight now. Well, what's, well, it's the six. The six is on the far side of the side here, and if he's straight, he's got problems. He'll just he have can't to try cut to roll up, I guess, and shoot it in the corner. I don't know that he can unless he's dead straight in on it. And how can he get straight in on it with the seven ball there? I know. This is a mess. Is it? Uh, he might have to wind up kicking at it in the side. Unless he can get that cue ball out. Try to stun it. Yeah. This is the ball can spit out here. Oh, boy. He That's hit that I good. Like. Oh, I yes. didn't think he could yeah. get there, Bobby. That was yeah. that was as good a shot as he's played yeah, the he whole match. He stunned it over there. Yep. He did it perfect, didn't he? Yep. That's a real special stroke. You got to have to stay do that. Stay down here. Just thin, just smooth this ball in. Just stay down on the yeah. ball. Just stop it Make right sure there. You, there you go. Split okay. the pocket. Come up. Shoot the eight in the side. Yeah, he just wants to make sure he's on the proper side of the eight ball here. So he's either go, either Ooh, can just yeah. go forward or go down. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll wait till the match. I guess is over. If you want.
get you, you can get you a drink up there on the stage. Uh, they probably got some bottles of Coke or water up there. Okay, Efren with a two rack lead. something to eat. We just got our sandwiches delivered and it's a long day up here without a real opportunity to get away and go eat anything. So, uh, someone was kind enough to go to Subway for us so Bobby's going to take 15 minutes or so go enjoy his sandwich and then uh, when he comes back I'll do the same or at least maybe after we start the next round. But meanwhile Ralph Suquet 6-2 on the outer table over Koping Chung and 6 4 here for the Magician. John won his first match. I think he beat Ralph Hill Hill. Let me uh, reconfirm that. I can tell you that uh, pretty easily here. Yeah, he did. John beat Ralph 9 8 yesterday. And of course, we know Efren lost to uh, Young Ko. Ko Ping Chung. So if Efren wins this, he's one and one. John's one and one. If Ralph wins, he's one and one. And Ko Ping Chung will also be one and one because he's playing uh, Ralph right now. So you will have four players all at one and one with one game remaining for each of them. And let me see if they're going to play again today or tomorrow. No, they're going to play tomorrow. This group, this is group C. Yeah, they're going to open things up tomorrow at 11 a.m. So if these two matches were to hold as they are with the player that's currently leading, all four guys will have a one and one record and all four of them will have a chance to win the group. But of course, uh, if they're all one and one going into tomorrow, two of them are going to be two and one and two of them are going to be one and two. And then it'll be a question of the first tiebreaker, which will be head-to-head -head competition between the two players with the two-and-one records. Well, a little bit of a mess out here. If the 5-3 is wired in the side, he may go at that right now. I don't know if he can make the three in the side by itself. It doesn't look that way from here. And, of course, you can see the... The six and the eight are tied up. The six goes up in the upper corner. It doesn't go by the eight. It will go in the side by the three. So there's a, a lot of work here, <coughs> not only execution-wise, but even more importantly, decision-wise. Young Ko got one back on Ralph, 6-3, and he's, he's breaking. Young Ko is breaking. So both matches still with a lot of suspense to them.
decided to take care of that 3-5 this way. Can't find fault with that. But that three needs to bounce out a bit. Lawrence going to play tough. Does carry natural shape, but he elected to play safe and he sold out. Caught it a little bit fuller than he wanted to. Or maybe he wanted to catch it, maybe he caught it not full enough, is, is more, more accurate to say. huge if Efren could have got out here and gone 7-4 ahead. But John's not out yet, although you kind of expect him to take care of this. Uh, like I said, the only difficulty now will be the 6, which will go into the side pocket by the 5. And if he gets, you know, he's probably going to have to run into the 7 here to get onto the 5. but he wants the angle on the five to float at the 10 ball so he can shoot the six. And he's done that very nicely. He can now, I believe, stun this cue ball at the 10. close to grazing that six, but he's okay. And this to close it to one game. And John will be breaking in rack 12.
on the outer table. Ko Ping Chung has closed the gap from 6-2 to 6-4 against the Kaiser. And he's at the table, Ko is. John Mora, 5-6 down, race to nine against the Magician. Group C action, the second round robin of their three. And this group very much undecided. Second ball in the side, nice square hit, another ball down. Is the one gonna get to the side for him? No. The one is in a brutal position. I mean, there m maybe there's some air there to cut it in. From this vantage point, it doesn't look it. Of course, if there is, the rest of the balls are sitting pretty. I would think if it would go, he'd already be addressing it. So I think he's looking to push. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. I think he let Efren see it. And I, and, I, and I also think John played the right shot by trying to move the one ball. Uh, if he pushed anywhere, he was gonna get the worst of it and that ball wasn't gonna be able to be made anywhere anyway. So in his judgment, let me try to move this one to a playable position and maybe hook my opponent Everyone's gotta fade a lot of traffic coming back for the three ball. Looks like he's managed to do so. And that was no accident running into that seven. I think that's exactly what he wanted to do. Oh, where are you going? Okay, the only issue here is he'd like to get straight in on the six so he can play a stop shot and then go right through the gap to shoot the seven in the, same, in the opposite corner. And he has done it. Stop shot here, he's on the seven with the proper angle to come one rail out for the eight in the side. And this is also on John's break. So should he complete these last four, he'll have a two rack lead and be breaking in game 13. Well, that's way too far. He wanted to be straight in on the eight and just stop, pull it back six, eight inches. Now he's got to do some work with the cue ball. I wonder if he's gonna go three rails around both of them. No, he held it with inside as he is known to do. It's his favorite, favorite shot is inside English, unlike the rest of us who dread it. <laughs> I'll tell you, um, he's played a solid match here, Bata has. A couple of early position mistakes and one horrendous scratch in the, floor, uh, in the side pocket there when he was trying to open up that four ball cluster and John wound up making the carom on the 410. But all in all, uh, you know, pretty well played here by the magician. 7-5 and it will be his break.
this is you'd like it to be. Well, Efren just made a really, really nice out. Um, I saw half of it. Yeah. Yeah, the earlier part of the rack was, was the difficult part. But meanwhile, on the other table, Bobby, take a look. Ralph was up 6-2. And now it's 6-5 against um, Ko Ping Chun. So um, that issue is still well undecided. And here Efren finally got his two game lead and he's about to break. I did it pretty quick, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, and, you know, you really didn't need to. I mean, I wanted you to, no, I'm to have a little bit of break, you know. Well, I, wanted, I didn't want to eat by, and make noise eating by here and I wanted to watch the match. Oh. Yeah, me too. I mean, I want to I want to go eat too, but I, I don't want to miss any of this. Mm -mm. Something go here. Nice shot. He's got a one rail kick here near the six ball because mm -hmm. he didn't freeze him completely. I believe he'll hit this one. Yeah, I think. <coughs> He's called it. <coughs> Again, uh, the calling of the ball is really more for defensive control purposes. He's really, I don't think, trying to make it, but just in case he does, he stays at the table, where if he just kicked at it and it went in, John would have the option. He might got away with it. Yeah, if it, if it hugs the rail and stays there, John's not gonna be able to hit it. Uh, no, he can't he, hit this. No, he's gotta back kick it. Yep. That's a nice roll. The inventor of the kick safety, and 35 years later, he's still doing it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's going to go real first and thin it. Oh, yeah, he can get in there. That's right. He's going to just Try thin to it. go around the three with the cue ball under the two nine, maybe. This, but I don't, you know, I don't like that shot. You know, if you're going to shoot that shot, you got to hit gotta it medium hit, yeah, hard. You got to hit it with some speed and try to get down here. Right. I mean, yeah. float behind them balls. He had to see that possibility. I'm really surprised that that he took that choice, but he maybe just <coughs> did not like the uh, back kick. And Efren is this rack away from being on the hill. Now, in years past, you'd just give him these. Oh, yeah, just you rack know, them up. Just rack them up, sure. There was no way he wouldn't get out. <clears throat> if he's straight here, he's got a little bit of a problem. He's not straight, he's, but he's got the angle into the short rail, which is not the angle he wants. It's, it's awkward, Bobby. Hmm. It, it's just an awkward lay. Forward two rails isn't that great. I think he's going to wind up playing the four down here. That's got to bounce. Now the five don't go. I don't think the five goes by the nine, does no, it? No, he's going to have to go over and back and get back around where the four ball is. No, it must go. It must go. It must go, obviously, sure. And he's got the correct angle to go into the side rail, but he can't. Well, he could be straight on the six, even though I think he wants to be able to get the cue ball in the middle of the table to shoot the seven. Stop. 
57 to go on the side? It does, but from where he is, he's got probably going to go forward to the bottom rail. And, and go toward it. And go toward it, right. And then you can even make the seven and stay right there. No. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. There's, there's a good foot between the eight and the ten. There's plenty of room there. He can bounce off here, you know, 12 inches or so. He doesn't need to get close to the eight. Two rails around the 10. And now <coughs> over and back, both long rails just bouncing off the second cushion about where he's standing. Well, that's that's weak. He let up on that stroke. He can reach it comfortably. That's the good news. The bad news is it's a little more of a cut than he wanted. He's got to recompose himself here now. Hit this with a little bit of high right, no two rails, right? Yeah. Or a low e right, whatever. E either way, it's a two rail shot. This makes it play a little easier. And the magician to the hill. Good Lord. It's almost looking vintage. Not to catch him on the hand, he's gone loose. Enjoying watching Efren play a good match and run out like he's been doing for 40 years. I mean, this John Moore is a great player, young, you know, and everything, and Efren's beating him. I mean, Efren's amazing. <coughs> 60 years old beating these guys that are in their mid-20s. Got to play every day, practice every day, Efren. You know, he's just amazing. But he ain't won yet. It ain't over till it's over. These balls, the three to the four is the only problem. I believe he'll shoot the one here in the side. I don't know where he's going to shoot the three. And he doesn't know either. I don't, know if it, I don't think it doesn't cut the side and it doesn't go in the corner. So this is uh, this is tough. He might, I don't know what he's going to do here. I think the one might be straight in the side. Or he might can hit the rail and go back and go across the table, shoot the three in the corner where the cue ball's at, is what I think he's going to try to do. Nope. I don't know about this. This is tough. If he tries to cut this ball in and go back and forth, he might duck here. I don't know. He might duck here. Might just try to get behind all these balls, but he might be trying to cut this ball and go back and forth. This is tough. Tough shot to get on the score like this. Yep. You got to avoid hitting these balls. Boy, what a nice shot. That will get the money there, buddy. 
excellent shot. Now just draw back about six inches and shoot the five on the side. He's going. He's out. So this will be eight to six. Efren's break. If he doesn't get out, that'll be eight to seven. And he break. Well, Efren's going to get to break the balls twice more. So he's a favorite to run out one of the two breaks, even if uh, John, you know, ties it up hill hill. He still ain't out here. He's got to get. He's got to run these balls. Nothing is easy when the pressure's on. Everybody knows. go three rails here and shoot the six down here try to go in that gap like this or play it in the side or go yeah he's going in the side nice shot <coughs> that's a great match <coughs> excuse me He did not like what he just did. He's trying to draw the Just goes to show you how hard it is to draw the ball back with accuracy. Just trying to draw the ball back like three, four inches is tough. He like to drew it like three more inches, of course. What's up, Billy? There's my main man, Billy in Cardona, coming up. He saved me last well, night. What's up, buddy? Huh? huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to sit in for a few minutes? Yeah. The score is eight to, eight to five, Efren, and he's playing good. You'd be proud of our, we'd be proud of our boy. Oops. Okay. This, well. this this kid plays good, John. I'll tell you, smooth as silk, Billy. Yeah, I've been watching him play now for the past four or five years. And he seems to be improving each year, you know, and uh, I think he's finally arrived as one of the upper echelon players. Oh, by the way, for all the you young hot shots that don't know, my man Billy here was one of the best money players on the planet for many years at all games. Well, thank you, Bobby. Yes, you shot him in cold blood. You was one of my heroes, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Billy shot him in one pocket. He played perfect, nine ball. Yeah, Billy was a great player. I, I considered you and Alan Hopkins and a few others some of the best money players ever, you know. Oh, bet, thanks a lot. Yeah, bet your own cash. You could dab it. I tell you what, today's players, uh, you know, they're really, really special. There's a lot of players today that, in my opinion, could have competed without any problem against the best of years ago. Yeah, but you, you, you were right in there with them. Uh -huh. You were right in there with them. It's amazing how Reyes has been able to maintain the, the level of play, of the level of excellence all these he's years, still, you know? know? It's, it's amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's been playing good this match, too. His, everything is speed's good, everything, yeah. Yeah. And we've often heard people say that uh, it's even more difficult to stay on top yeah. as opposed to getting there. Yeah. You know, and uh, Efren certainly is a testament to... Uh, to that, you know, how, how well he's playing at his yeah. age. He, he, he's probably 61, 60, yeah, 61, 60. I think. Yeah. Well, funny thing is people say, oh, he's over the hill, and all of a sudden he'll they have a big tournament company he wins it. You know, it's just it's crazy. To compete with these guys that are 25 playing nine ball, which is so tough, 10 ball is so tiresome anyway, is awesome. You know, it, it's, it's amazing. <coughs> you get a lot more pressures when you're playing 10 ball as opposed to playing a game like one pocket. See, yeah. one pocket, you can you can opt to shoot the uh, conservative shot or the uh, safety yeah. shot, which will give you a little more time to like regroup or gather yeah. yourself yeah, and yeah. possibly get rid of some of that pressure. Oh, yeah. But 10 ball, you have to perform. Every really, shot. It's, it's a challenge always when you're at the table. In other words, one miss, you know, you figure to lose the, uh, the game. Effort's been breaking from the side. It's been working. Give him something. No, he's not going to get that ball. He wants it. He wants it, but it's not going to fall. Look at him. 
Yeah. Oh man, don't tell me it's gonna go. Well, he's got one more break. You know, you get to break. He's get to break on the hill. Eight to six. It looks like uh, John's going to have to <coughs> win three consecutive games, and he's starting off with a pretty good rack right here. All balls seem to be in the open. I see the one, the two balls adjacent to the one. He's looking maybe to play the, the two into the eight, yeah, just, possibly next. Yeah, just drag your cue ball up about a side pocket. Going from the two to the three would be better if he didn't play the two-eight combination. Right. Mm-hmm. And shooting the two in the side. Right. Come over for the two in the side. Right. And he didn't hit it hard enough. Well, he didn't hit it hard enough. He, he's all right. He got straight, perfect in the corner with a little bit of an angle, maybe. Yeah, but he wanted to play the two in the side. All he yeah, would need he to do is, is drag <laughs> yeah. that cue ball to yeah. center table in the three, <coughs> four in the side. I, I can the four go into the side pocket? Looks yeah, it like looks good. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It's positioned close. close to that cushion. I don't know. But if even if it doesn't go in the uh, in the side, you can certainly make that combination four eight. I'm just gonna try to twist this one, I guess, and stay, keep the cue ball right there, huh? Or is he going to the rail? Oh, he looks like he's winding up here. Well, I don't. I didn't understand that. Like you Real didn't understand it. Yeah, I didn't I mean, really uh, understand what he was trying to do there. Well, he got away with it, but pretty fortunate. He's going to have to go with right hand English and get the cue ball back somewhere where it is now, playing mm -hmm. position for that 4 8 combination next. Yep. So he's going to be uh, committed to uh, setting the cue ball in between the 10 7 position. It's somewhere in the area that it's. In now. No, he's hit it Look too slow. Look at this. He's hit it too slow. He's got to get to that rail. On that particular shot, you really want to hit it with the speed oh, to hit yeah. the rail. Come off. Yeah, you got to hit the rail because you have so much more margin for error when you go to the rail and back out. Point. So that's two shots in succession, succession that I've I seen know. him like. Oh, I was a little curious to see why he did what he did. But that was there was really. Pretty unbelievable, you know. I mean, he had like this. He had like a foot and a half to come back. He, he might get lucky and make the eight here. Well, it's got a pretty big ball with the four, so therefore he uh, had a, a really a legitimate shot to make that combination. He certainly wasn't a favorite by any means, but no. uh, wouldn't have been a big surprise to see him put it down. But he didn't. Now Reyes got to close him out here, Bobby. Eight to six. He Reyes needs this game to win the match. As long as he stays down, he got to stay down and keep that head down. See if, he, see if he jerks his head, Billy. Please, I want effort. I'm really pulling for effort going there. Yeah, you know, that's the old timer's got to stick yeah. together. Not that he's an old timer, <laughs> nor you. Yeah, or you. Well, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, look, look. Oh, he split the pocket. Sweet. Yeah, he would like to make both the five and the eight if he plays the combination because the six ball will be, be right. there right there for a position. So he's going to try to make possibly both balls here. And even if he hangs a five up, he'd still be all right, you know? Right. I don't think, yeah, he's shooting, he's shooting the combination, yeah. If he follows it, then he's going to hit it with it with a soft speed. Mm -hmm. See, the problem with this shot is the angle that he's on. He doesn't have the angle that's comfortable to hold it for the six if he happens to make the five yeah. eight. Yeah. So therefore, he looks like he has to go forward. Now, now, if he commits himself and hits it with a low ball, he can't afford to lose control of the lead ball, the five yeah. ball. Yeah. So let's see what he does here. He's going to he's going to try to make both balls here, but he could lead, lose the lead ball, the five ball. Watch. See, he couldn't. Now he tried to make both balls yeah, there, yeah, but, but he wasn't able to do it. But fortunately, the five stayed there. So now let's see how well he handles it from you here. He'll just swing over here to the side rail and hit the cue ball, say, about around 4 o'clock. No, not 4 o'clock. Excuse me, like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Yeah, I think he can play this two different ways. They can go rail first, or he can cut it thinly and go one rail up. Yeah. Just like yeah, rail, rail first. Ah, perfect. See, rail first gives him that nice angle coming yeah. in toward the ball. Yeah. This way he can see the fullness of the ball. It's a much easier shot for him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in pretty good shape now. It looks like he's going to close it out. You really got to take your hat off to this guy right here. He's been I'm able to yeah. stay on top of the pool world for 25 years. Yep. And if anyone thinks that they got a fairly soft draw playing Reyes in the 10 ball, you know, they can think again. This guy here can flat out hey, play. Hey, this kid, he's playing as a champion. 
Everybody's pulling for him, too. And what will his record be after this? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, think, I think Ken knows. Well, if he only has one loss, then he's still in contention to, yeah, win, yeah, to yeah. beat the... Uh, I think he's only got one loss. It's to that uh, Kung Pao, King, whatever his name is. What a match. Okay, well, anyways, what's the next round coming up? Uh, I think Jason's playing here. Jason Shaw? Yeah. I, yeah, he's I, another, another champion.